All right, today I'm showing you a video of a 1985 Dodge Omni GLH. Uh, this belongs to my buddy Phil Tackett. I'm gonna say hi, Phil. Hey, how you doing? So he's had this car forever, and uh, just thought we would capture some video of it and maybe get a little description from the uh, owner. So what can you tell us about this thing? Oh, uh, let's see, Micah. It's I've had it for 23 years. Uh, it's got a little bit over 300 horsepower. Stock it was 142. So that's 300 at the wheels. 300 at the wheels. 300 plus. Man. Yeah. Looks like you got a passenger coming down from the headliner here. Yeah, might be a spider. Hasn't been clean since a <laughs> new clutch. <laughs> yeah, uh, all aftermarket. You know, auto meter gauges. And so this is a 2.2 still? 2.2, yeah, 2.2. It's got uh, Coney coilovers all the way around with Ibox springs. Say, it's sitting a little low. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just recently did some exhaust work, is that right? Yeah, uh, the intent is to a full three inch mandrel bent exhaust. I haven't got the last part of it put on, but uh, after some fitment, that'll be complete. Was that original, that hood grill? Yes. That, that air yeah, vent? That's actually a functional vent. Uh, it takes away heat from the turbo. It's an under the hood. Yeah. Man, check that out. The turbo's uh, behind and below the intake, so it's very difficult to see. So it comes off of the back. Yeah, off the back. You can kind of see the exhaust manifold that's wrapped here. And the turbo is just okay. beyond that. Got a lot of high dollar fittings on that. Yeah, that's to make it uh, easy for engine removal and keeping track of where all the vacuum hoses go. So does this run on pump gas? E85. E85. We're premium unloaded, but E85 is what it's set up for. And how much boost does it run? Uh, I've had no problems with going to 25 pounds so far. I think it'll go up to 30 or so without any issues. And everything holds up, axles, yeah. clutch, yes. all that? been through several weaker transmissions but it's got the strongest factory Dodge five speed that you can get that you can find so that's held up very well and this thing is so cool so what's the fastest that it has run on the quarter unfortunately very slow 60 foot times because traction is an issue I think my best 60 foot is a 2.3 but my highest uh, trap speed has been 117 so that's about what a, you know <laughs> An 11 second car will do. 117 in this thing. Yeah. And a car that was designed to probably do 80. It did. I it. think stock, you know, uh, low 17s at 82 or 83 mile an hour. <laughs> um, could you fire it up and let us hear mm -hmm. it? Sure can. Put it out of gear, kids. Yeah. What you want Got a nice little lope to it. Yeah, it uh, kind of has a hard time when it's cold, but it's got the uh, big fuel injectors on it. It's a lot of fuel right now. Down. The engine's pretty quiet. Yeah, it's not some, all clicky clacky. You hear some clicking, but that's the big the fuel injectors. That's what you're hearing. And what size are those? Oh, 72 pounds. Wow. Yeah. And then you're also hearing some clutch noise. Yeah. There goes Throw the clutch. Throw yeah. yeah. Which it's new, but it's just... How you doing? Hi, yeah. Good. Still pretty quiet, though. Yeah. yeah. But then again, my car's so noisy, I can't hear anything right. over it.
always something. Yeah. Here, I'll hold that. You rev it up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to call that good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing it, Phil.